Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless you. We worship you, Lord. Be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. You're forgetting the past. It is making your enemy angry. You're refusing to hold on to the past. It is making your enemy angry. Child of God, keep fighting off that negative feelings that you are getting. Yes, child of God, you are just in your own lane. You are just doing your own things. You are trying to stay positive. You are trying to be better. But you have gone through a lot of trauma. I don't know who this person is. You have been traumatized with the past experience, you know. And the more you feed that past experience, the more the devil is dancing. The more they are dancing, hallelujah. The more they are dancing, but the moment you choose to forget about the trauma and say, well, let me heal. They are angry. They are angry. Child of God, keep pressing on. The apostle said, he said, for now on, let no man trouble me. Why? He said, because I bear in my body the mark of our Lord Jesus Christ. They will not be able to trouble you to a level where you will have to feed your past. If the devil keep coming to tell you, look at your past, tell the devil to turn back and look at the past themselves. Tell them that you don't live in that past anymore. Tell them that you live in your future with God. Hallelujah. Tell them that they cannot frustrate you. Tell them that you are standing up for what is right and what is good. Tell them that that past does not determine how far you can go. Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God will continue to protect you from their hand. Yes, you are just trying to press forward. You are just trying, trying to press forward. But there is always a knock that is always telling you, look at the past. You choose to forget the past because God does not hold you with any past. The Bible says he's patient with us. He's a patient God. He waits for us to come to repentance. When we come to repentance, he accepts us. And he gives us a new leave. Hallelujah. Look at what happened to Peter after he denied Jesus three times. He repented and he was still able to carry on the cross that the Lord said he should carry. He said, feed my sheep, feed them for me, take care of them. He did not keep looking at how he, how I denied Jesus. Oh, the devil will come. Did you remember you denied Jesus? Which Jesus are you working for? Shut up. I did you not deny Jesus three times. Peter understand that I, he was no longer in that past. He has repented. What he needs to do now is to carry on with the assignment. It's for him to press forward. It's for him to carry the mark of our Lord Jesus. Doing all the good works that he has done. That he said he should be doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how it happens. Sometimes they will come and they will want you to feed your past. The Lord said, don't feed it. They are angry. They are angry with you so mad. Why? Well, because you are forgetting your past. I pray may the Lord help you in the name of Jesus to overcome every past that wants to run, ruin your present or your future. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.